<laughs> Time to make the donuts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, Donnie. I offer a hearty and heartfelt good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, well, <he's... laughs> Oh, pretty mild morning this morning. Yeah. Looks like we got about an inch and a half, two inches of snow out there. Oh, wow. Came down in a hurry. I heard it last night on the roof. <coughs> we got a little worried how hard it came down, but then it just stopped. Yeah. Huh. Happened all at once. I didn't hear a thing. I take out my hearing aids. I don't hear a thing. That's good. That means I don't snore. <laughs> I once in a while I could hear something over there, but yeah, not often. Today is gonna be as good a fishing day as you've ever seen for pike. They are gonna be chewing today. Is it cloudy out there? It's we got a wicked front pushing across from this storm, and then some nice clouds behind it and it's just going to be a mild mild beautiful day i don't know what the wind's going to do that's the only thing i don't know but i know they're going to be chewing because they haven't chewed for two days right they gotta be hungry they're gonna chew today today's yeah. gonna be we're gonna put something over 10 pounds topside and i want you to be the guy that does it because i don't like catching big fish <laughs> that's a lie <laughs> well we got i got up this morning I let her burn out last night. I got up this morning and got the fire going and I guess I got her going a little too hot and I had the pipe wide open. The pipe, I came back from doing my outside stuff and the pipe was glowing. It was glowing in here. Bad. Yeah. And I'd left the, I'd left the damper wide open and it looked like it kind of melted that rubber silicone at the, where it goes through. So we might have to look but at something different. I didn't think it, it smoked a little bit, but I, I didn't see any flame or anything. Oh, no flame, no flame oh, at all. Yeah, yeah but it de it definitely melted it some. So yeah. when we take the pipe out, we'll take a look and kind of reassess. It might need that triple walled uh, insulated one there. Maybe we wrap the pipe with with this blanket where it goes through the yeah. wall there. But but we haven't had it cherry red like that. No, that was I mean, glowing. That is, yeah. I, before I turned the light on, it was, you know, obviously dark in here, and that thing was glowing. <laughs> oh, man. And I, th I thought, sure, it would be glowing outside, too, but, you know. I thought I smelled something outside, but it wasn't glowing outside. Yeah, yeah, so. Your little fan in on the stove is really <laughs> winding up. Yeah. You know, that helps move the air around here. It sure does. Yeah. Did, did it take long for the heat to come to your not, bed this morning? No, no. not at all. No. Not at all. It, it uh, kind of brought me out of hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan for this morning? Oh, after I sip on my coffee for a minute and kind of wake up, I'm going to... I'm going to start making a half a batch of donuts today. I don't think we need a full batch. And then I'll get the water going for the oatmeal. I think we'll have a nice breakfast. I brought some brown sugar in case you want to put that on your oatmeal. That's sure. kind of nice. I've got some milk here, some half and half. We'll drench a little of that on it and just enjoy ourselves to a kind of an old-fashioned breakfast. I don't think too many people cook the original oatmeal. I don't know that for sure, but, you know, I, I have used the little packets of the quick stuff, and I do like those for being, a, uh, you know, quick, but I I really like the, the old-fashioned the best. In a double boiler, it cooks slow, and it doesn't burn on, you know, with the, it cooks by actually the steam coming from the bottom kettle heating the top kettle where the oatmeal is in, and it does a good job, I think, so. Okay. Well, that's the plan. I'm going to get some traps set for us and bring get go get some water for dishes. And I'll drive this cup of coffee into me, get my thermos full, and we're going to have one heck of a morning. Stay tuned, guys. I don't think you're going to want to miss this episode. I think it's going to be a good episode, even if we don't catch a fish, because we're eating Donnie's Donuts today. <laughs> and I'm one lucky fella. If you guys knew our location, we'd probably have a couple more people knocking on the tent door. Love it. Love it every time I start that thing. Makes me so happy. Probably not. That's probably not right, but it does.
Yeah, got about an inch and a half of snow last night, a little bit wet. I've uh, started to work on my donuts. I'm adding all the wet ingredients together, or, and uh, I got milk in here. I put my sugar in here and mixed it in with the milk. I've got my egg in here. I just put a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg in. And uh, kind of blend that in. Let that set a minute and I'm going to get out my shortening and my flour. i got to melt my shortening and my recipe. It's funny I can't remember this recipe, but I can't. So i got to have two, two and a half tablespoons of this. So I'm going to put this in a cup and melt it down. We got a nice fire going in the wood stove so good place to, to melt it on. Alright we got that. Now I'll set that on the stove. Now I'll measure out my flour. My workspace isn't very big here but we're going to make do, obviously. We have to make do. And I'm only making a half a batch, so we need uh, four cups of flour if we were making a full batch. So we, all we need is two cups, obviously. Melt that down, which is going to take a bit. To get it up to temperature, we want to be up around 365 degrees or thereabouts to start frying in. So I got my donut cut. I'm just going to dip it in here, hopefully. Hopefully things won't stick too bad. not cooperating but I'm gonna put that in the fat and just see if it's uh, up to temp it's getting very close this back as low as I can get it it's a little hot
There's the first donut hole. Whoops. Didn't drop it on the floor and get saved. And I mixed up some sugar and some cinnamon and nutmeg to uh, cover these with. And here comes the first donut off the press. Looks like it's cooked pretty well. That's still a little hot. I've cut it back as much as I can without shutting it off. In fact, I think I will shut it off and let it come back down. Usually this is a two-man operation. I, when I take them out of the fat, you know, Joey's usually here to sugar, sugar them, but he's out setting up traps, trying to get us supper tonight. I don't think we'll be going hungry if we don't get catch anything, but sometimes if the fat is too hot, it'll cook quickly on the outside, but the inside might be not cooked, a little bit doughy. So I shut the heat off and it's coming back down into where the range that it should be. All right, we got four done. This is only half a batch, so I still got some more to do here. Got a little bit more dough left in here. that to the what's already on there flour on top really don't need a rolling pin for this small a deal but I brought it so all right while I'm waiting uh, just to want to talk a little bit about I'm going to make oatmeal and this is the original old-fashioned Quaker oats that I like to use and I have a do double boiler here uh, which is about the right size for you know two servings I put water in the bottom one and I will put two cups of water to one cup of Quaker Oats in the top and heat it and it actually cooks by the water boiling in the bottom and to me it makes the best oatmeal going so we'll do that after we get these donuts done it's kinda hard to determine when a donut is done you know I do it kinda by color uh, Sometimes I hit it right, sometimes I don't. You know, sometimes it's a little bit doughy in the middle. But personally, I like that, but a lot of people wouldn't. <clears throat> and I got a little bit of dough left. I think I'll pop a donut hole in my mouth. Mmm. Man, oh man. I guess I could make a crawler. All right, a half a batch made eight donuts, a few donut holes, and a crawler. So there's just two of us, so certainly a half a batch is more than enough. I have a friend coming in to fish with us tomorrow, 
So, if we devour all these today, why, I'll make another half a batch tomorrow. Okay, now for the oatmeal. Uh, I've put water in the I've put water in the bottom pan. That's been heating on the wood stove. That's uh, to the steam stage. Now I'm going to add the ingredients in the in the top half, and it's going to take two cups of water. You know, at home I just kind of. You know, I don't measure stuff out, I just kind of dump it in and, and it works just fine. I'm so, I've made it so many times, I know where the water level should be on the inside, it'll just add a drop. Okay, now, i got to wipe this out. So the oatmeal won't stick too badly, and I need a cup, a cup of old-fashioned oatmeal. A lot of people wait till the water in the top. pan gets hot before they add the oatmeal. I just dump it in, let it soak in the water, and uh, go from there. So what I'm going to do is put this on the wood stove, and uh, hopefully we can cook it on the wood stove. I hear Joey coming back. I guess he's got all the traps set out. You got them all set, Joey? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I just put on the oatmeal. Oh, yeah? Donuts are done. I just put the oatmeal on. So you're going to have to wait about probably 20 minutes or so for that to cook. For what? I don't like waiting. Well, you can have a donut in the meantime. <laughs> it so, sure is freaking warm. Well, I have to. I mean, it's been hotter than holy hell in here. I've been under a lot of pressure trying to get this <laughs> this cooked. And, you know, I, I usually have more than one hand here, but you've been out in your thing. Messing so I've been out messing around. Yeah, I know. Having fun. Yeah, yeah. Holy cow, Donnie. Yeah. Wow! Isn't that going to be great? Oh my gosh, they look great. Yeah. Did you really just whip those up? I just whipped them up. For yeah. real? Yeah. They look... A, yeah. They and look that, professional. That's, that's, that's half a batch, so, you know, that's like uh, eight, I think eight donuts and the, the ugliest looking crawler I'll eat you would ever want to see. Look how ugly that is. Wow, can I have one? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take it right outside. Yeah, I got to eat out here because I got my, my winter clothes on. Oh, it's still warm, Donnie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we got a flag up too. Bad. Yep. Oh my god, those are good, Donnie. Holy cow, Donnie. Wow. Huh? Some good. She did trip. She did trip. She's not rolling. But she's definitely tripped wide open. Might be one on there. No. Got a big dead bait on this one. It's been up three times, so I don't know what's going on. 
pretty mangled. <laughs> well, send it back down. This one's been up three times. Whatever it is, it's just hitting it and pulling it like four or five feet, which could be just the slack I have it off bottom. So it could be, it really could be like, let's find out what it is. Could be a tiny pickle. Could be a tiny pike or a tiny pickerel. Don't ever want to let your guard down because that could be a 25 pound pike. But more than likely, it's a tiny little hammer handle doing all he can to try to get, get that thing swallowed. I think I'm going to have to just let him swallow it. Because when I pull, there's really nothing there. <laughs> it's off to the races again. I gotta let him eat it. Just stopped. Slow rolling. Could be a small pickerel, small pike, giant yellow perch. If he's not big enough, he's really got to work on turning that, turning it, turning it so he can swallow it. So he's either swallowing it now or he's dropped it. Let's find out. Yeah, he dropped it. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, there he is. Oh, he pulled it right out of my... Oh, shoot. All right. I was worried that was going to happen. We'll put one on that's a little bit more bite size. Anytime you're using dead bait, just make sure you get that air sac. I just popped it right there. You could pull it out or pop it and squeeze the air at them so they're not upside down. We'll give him a second, but we got Donnie's donuts to eat, so we're not gonna mess around too long waiting for this guy. Boy, is it nice in here. I hope this tent smells like this forever, Donnie. I know. It's <laughs> nice really, as... That, uh, that uh, donut frying really adds to it. Nice as this tent's ever smelled. Right. <laughs> it's new, too. Oh, man. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to have another donut. What do you, what do you guys think? I think this it one? should. I don't, one? I don't know. This one? This one? This one looks like it might be a little doughy in the middle. Let's try this one. I like them crispy. Yeah. I like to float there, them. There was one that I, I don't know if I ate it, but I didn't have the fat quite hot enough and it really crisped up the outside. You oh. Know. Donnie, that is amazing. Pretty doggone good, aren't Oh my God. Got the oatmeal cooking on the stove. Look how nice that's coming. Mm. Cook it slow. You know. Is that the same cooker you use at home? Yeah, it is. It's great for just me, you know. It's small and uh, works super. I think the oatmeal is about ready. Looks pretty, pretty doggone good to me. I've had it on there for probably at least 20 minutes. And, you know, it doesn't do any hurt to leave it on even longer, but I like it, a texture about like that. So what is, how do, what is that cooking apparatus for people that aren't 80? 
<laughs> you mean for the modern generation? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, this is called a double boiler. And there's water. Oh, nice. There's water in the bottom one. Yeah. You see it bubbling. Yep. You add your ingredients in the top one. It might not be oatmeal. It might be making uh, frosting or, or, okay. or something else, you know. It's used for a lot of different things. So it cooks by the steam coming, you know, from the boiling water mm -hmm. onto the onto this pan, and it cooks by steam. Never burns on. Oh, okay. So you know, nice slow cook. Right. If you know, if you cooked it directly on on the cooking surface, it oftentimes would burn on because it's harder to regulate that heat. Right. And you have to work at it constantly. You know, stir and so forth and so on. But this, you know, you stir it occasionally, and uh, you have no worries about, uh, you know, burning on. Oh my gosh! Now I got, I got really something to top it off with. Some half and half. Wicked. We well, eating old school now. Well, if that isn't a good breakfast, I don't know what. It is. This might be the best breakfast I'll ever eat in my life, ever, anytime from here on out. I don't know if I should be sad or happy. How would you guys feel if you just knew you ate your best breakfast of your life? Hey, Joe. Yeah. Somebody told me, and maybe it was you, that Oscar Crom yeah. oatmeal every day. Yeah, my buddy Colin sent me his recipe. Oh, he yeah. did? Yeah, he ate, he ate the double stew, and he had a... Um, Dates and walnuts and something else in it. Okay. I'll try to get that recipe. Yeah. I have it. As Julia Charles would say, bon appetit. <laughs> Some good. Wicked. Wicked good. Not too bad a day. No, it's going to be amazing. They should be chewing today. If you guys are using dead bait, that's the air bladder right there, and you can see it's just full of air. It's like a balloon, and then it deflates. But if you don't get that out, it'll your bait's going to float up, or it's going to be belly up. And there might be a little air in there. You just squeeze that out. Always make sure you get that scale off the tip of the hook, because you will not be able to drive that hook home, believe it or not, even on a 20-pounder. Could be. Great big giant. You never know. It's 8.59. You wait one more minute and this will be big. Right. Because I said 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, right. Alright, we'll wait one more minute before I do anything. I mean, this is super rare how slow these things are going and how little they take out. Normally when you're pike fishing, you get up to this flag and the thing's just churning butter. Huh. It's just been a couple of weird days and no bite. But they ought to start prowling now. The next hour and a half should be should be pretty good fishing. Hasn't hasn't uh, moved. Is it nine o'clock yet? Yeah, it just hit. Okay. Alright. Rolling. She's rolling? Yeah. Hold on, we're rolling too. Want to check it? Or you want to let it eat? I think you ought to let it eat, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. It. It's dead bait. You know better than I. Let's let it eat. I like punching them right in the face, but. <laughs> I mean, some guys won't touch that for 15 minutes. Yeah. But to me, it could be nothing on it for 15 minutes. Well, let's, let's try it. Ready? Yeah. What the heck? Really? There's nothing. Let's, we'll switch that bait up. I'll put something a little tastier on. There's not a thing on there. Like, you took the bait? Oh, we got two flags up. Well, it's off. He is off to the side. 
Yeah, let's take that bait off, Ronnie. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Half a roll. That's a little more promising. Yeah, it's at least moving. You would think that when they go for it, they'd slash at it and pull and slash. Yep. Especially if it was live bait. Yep. I don't know, but this is... Oh, we did put live bait on this one. Yeah, this was the one at 9 o'clock. Okay. Probably just the bait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hit him? Yeah. Yeah. Still got him? Yeah. Throw it right to the side. There you go. Then if you have to take it back. Oh, yeah. Good one, huh? Oh, he's taking it. He's taking it. Let me know if you need more. About time we got it hooked into one of these, yeah. huh? And then if you get us, this one's fluorocarbon, so you can't be as, as stout with as steel. But if you get his head started, I'll try to grab him and we'll just flop him on the ice. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let him run it. Oh, it's a, it's a decent one. All right, now bring him right up. There you go, nice. Awesome, good hook set. Man, they're just kind of sitting there chewing, huh? Yeah. Good hook set wow. on him. Nice fish, Donnie. Wow. He's, uh, he's heavy. Oh, yeah. Almost Good. five. Yeah, I thought he was heavy. Oh, no kidding. 4.8. Okay. 4.82. He's bigger than... Well, look at how... That's fat. why we're not catching... Oh, feel that, Donnie. He's got some serious stuff in there. Oh, my word. Squeeze I it tight. feel him. He's got like two or three big... Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. 4.82, he said. And then. We gotta let him go head first. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Good job, Donnie. All right. Nice. Man, it's been a tough. It's been tough to get these guys topside. They're just... Wow. I mean, he just, he moved this much. Yeah. I... They are so lethargic right now. They are not interested in moving around. Good hook set on them. We got some leftover meatloaf. Wow. We might as well eat that up. Made a couple sandwiches. Put some of Dave's pickles on it if you want it. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. A little ketchup. Yeah. Oh. Who makes these pickles? Uh, my brother-in-law, Dave Ames. And they are the best friggin' bread and butter pickles you can get. Oh, yeah. Just delicious. He makes them every year, doesn't he? Every year. And he makes a super zucchini relish. Yeah, he pays his cribbage bets off with jars Which, of it. Okay, yeah. So I got so many of those from him. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, if you're watching this, you're not that good at cards. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, he always has a big garden and, and uh, puts up... Well, he puts up a lot of different kinds of pickles. Bread and butter are my favorite. But he does sweet spears and dill and just a variety. So, you you usually know what you're going to get for Christmas when you with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you always look forward to it, right? Yeah, right. This is uh it's warm in here. It is. It's amazing how much this Eskimo sucks in the sun. Yeah, it does. Uh, Feels really good. Oh, dang, the thermometer quit working. It's 56 in here right now. That's pretty excellent. Wow. It's 25 outside. The door, door's been open all the time. Oh, that's true, too. You know. So, there we have it. There's your sandwich. Thank you. Looks like a great lunch. Awesome, thanks. 
I'm gonna eat outside. Wow. We couldn't have picked a better camping spot. Oh, this is traffic. I think we ate the most wind yesterday. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have an early spring or not. Maybe the groundhog said no? Is that what they're saying? I guess so. Thing is, the damn groundhog's in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so. <laughs> don't do a bit of good for us, does it? No. Well, guys, we got a flag out there. Donnie said he ain't going to let it... Any I'm fish not, ruin us. I'm not moving until this sandwich is gone. It reminds me of an old story Donnie told me about an old bull and a young bull. They're standing on top of the hill and there's a valley full of heifers. And the young bull says to the old bull, let's run down there and mate one of them heifers. And the old bull said, let's walk down and mate with all of them. There's, there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I learned a lot from that. <laughs> well, we got a flag up. Yeah, let's go check it. I think there's another one up down. There is. Huh? There is. Yeah. That other one that's yeah. always up. That one doesn't excite me too much. Oh, yeah. Cut her down. We got one on there. Slow rolling away from you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Want to hit it? I think we ought to, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you'll get on this side. He's on there. Yeah. Hit him good. Hit him. Oh. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Unless Keep he's coming. coming. Keep, he's yeah. coming. They will turn. Oh, my God. Let them have it. <laughs> is it a good one? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. All right, finally. And you got all the line you need right here, bud. Let me know when he's taking some. Yeah, he didn't like that hole. Yeah, you can kind of, this had fluorocarbon. He's coming. Oh no, you just hit your, so this had fluorocarbon, so you can't get too crazy around the hole. You know, when his head comes, you can pull him out. I'll give you a hand. Oh, it's oh, a big one. Oh, oh he's just barely oh. hooked. All right, bring him up. Yeah, Donnie! Oh. <laughs> yes! Ten pounder! <laughs> wow! Yes! Wow! Look at that! What a gorgeous fish! Yeah, and you got another flag we just set behind you. Oh, my word. Pop that right out. Holy man! So, <laughs> look at that. If you wow. want to hold them, you could hold them like this. Where do you hold from? You're going to... You only get the gill plate. You don't want to. You don't want to get anything other than the gill plate, and it's smooth. It's smooth, right? Just follow my thumb, and and stay close to you. Okay. Are you hitting gills? I think so. Okay. Your your fingers aren't on anything sharp, right? Not that I can feel. Okay. And just keep a good grip on them. Oh my God! Finally. Yes. Wow. Look at that what you, toad. What do you think he weighs? He's over 10. Look at that. He had an old, wicked old scar healed up. Huh. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, he's over 10, I'd say. What a nice Yeah, fish. we'll get some measurements, some weights, and let him go. I'll get my scale out. Just All right, so 32 would be hard to get to 10 pounds. But this joker is built, so if you hold that, just hold that for one second, please. We got 10.16. Yeah, 10.1 or 10. 10 pounds, 10.1 pounds. Yeah. 32 and over 10 pounds. That's a hog. <laughs> All right, we're going to let him go. Let him grow. Come on. See, he's good. See you later, big gator is what hey. we say on the big ones. All right. What do you think, Donnie? Hey, that's wonderful. Awesome. Biggest fish ever. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, wow. Wow. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> awesome. Good job. It's rolling pretty good, so I don't know now, but you're going to have to feel where he is and whale him. Oh, it's slack. He might have come back. When you feel him, whale him. 
he took some line up there. Got him? Did you hit, did you hit him? Well. Think you got him? Yeah. Any size? No. Bad. It might grow as he gets bigger. <laughs> I mean, I mean, as he gets closer. He might grow as he gets closer. Took some serious line, didn't he? You haven't even hit your bottom knot yet. Really? Yeah, you haven't hit your... Oh, there head. it is. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He might grow. Let me know if you need some. I'm going to... Uh, that's where we're... What is it? Did you get a look at him? No. Need some? No. I thought I saw a flash. It didn't look big, but... Oh, he's not bad. Pop him right out. Oh yeah, nice. He ain't bad at all. No. <laughs> nice. Well, not too bad. Nice. All right, another wow. nice one for Donnie. Wow. He's uh. You got the. Lions? Yeah. Yeah, he's got to be in like the six pound range, yeah, right? I'd he's, say so. Yeah. Might be the skinniest one yet. I got one. My flies are in my other. All right, you got three again. We'll see if we can get four today. Got it. Good hook sets today. Nothing's got it deep. I bet you he's pretty close to the same length as your uh, your bigger one. Really? Yeah. Oh, he looks shorter. Does he? I bet he's close. He's nowhere near the same weight. Well, he is close. 31. 31. The other the one other was 32. 32. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that just tells you what a hog that other one was. Because this is going to be close here. You hold that. This will be close to like six pounds, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say in the six pound It's so range. thick. It's thick in the back. Yeah, wicked thick in the back. Oh, wow. A little heavier. 770. So se no seven, seven and three quarter pounds. Oh, wow. Nice one, Donnie. Beauty. All right. Beauty. You want a picture? Oh. Well, you can hold this. I'll hold this. I usually just grab him by the tail real tight, get him. <laughs> this one's lively. And then you gotta say, see you later, big gator. Yeah, while Joey was out checking traps, uh, I whipped up a blueberry cake <laughs> and uh, got it in the oven right now. I gotta admit, it isn't homemade, it's made from a mix, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's quite a contraption, huh? But another, probably another 15 minutes on it. Wow, does that smell good. Oh. So I, then, I don't believe I will ever eat as good on a winter ice camping trip in my life. Unless you come along and outdo yourself somehow. Crazy. Well, I'll give you guys a little midday update where things are starting to slow down a little bit. I put a little shift on the traps. Lifted some up, set some down, moved some around, see if we can get an afternoon bite. I don't really do real well on pike in the afternoon. I don't know if it's just how I fish them or if it's just how they are here in the state of Maine. But I'm going to make a run out and grab some fuel, grab my extra seat because we're going to have a guest with us tomorrow that's going to need a ride in the morning. And I'll go grab the seat and pick them up at a different location. And I'll, I think I'm going to take a load of some stuff out right now too to lighten that load up for tomorrow. That's the plan. That comes out clean, so she's cooked. Beautiful. That smells delicious. Oh. All right, mission accomplished. We'll have some for supper and, and tomorrow. Still nice and warm. There Ooh. you go. Wow, thank you. I'm going to sit it out here and enjoy it on my Eskimo chair watching my, my jack traps. Driving some blueberry cake right into the old gullet. She is blowing straight sideways out there, folks. We got a hard west wind. Pretty much blowing like a sieve. Coming over them trees. But we're in a good spot here. We, we, lo we looked at the forecast trusted what we could trust 
and we used Donnie's compass and set up the best we possibly could for the week. Yesterday was the worst wind that we were going to eat, and it was a south wind, so that's not a big deal. So, how's the cake? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got to bite into that while it's warm. It's... Oh man. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm. You don't get that every day. You pretty much spoiled me rotten this trip, Donnie. Might have ruined me. Well, hopefully you'll have a good cook on the next trip. I got high expectations that next trip. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I gotta finish my cake first. Okay, let's go. You finished? Not quite. <laughs> let's walk out and mate them all. <laughs> all right, this could be the droid that we have been waiting for. Donnie's on the board with his double digit pike. Just barely tripped. Really? Yeah. I thought that was going to be the one. Oh, well, maybe. Is he just sitting there eating it? Yep. Oh, nice. Big one? Oh, she's a monster. Yeah? No, a little guy? Well, I mean, it's pulling pretty good. Yeah, he's pulling pretty good. Getting bigger is what you're saying? Yeah, getting bigger as he gets closer. Let me know if you need some. I'm to your bottom knot. Yeah, he's getting... Wow. <laughs> oh, you're oh. in the pool? Yeah, let him go, let him go. <laughs> All right, I like that. You getting close? Don't horse him. If it's if it's big, he's gonna need a couple runs. He's pretty good size. You gotta get say. the head started. Oh, we're back into the reel. Boy, he's really. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so you're saying he's decent? I think he is. I'll help you land them. Once you get the head started, you kind of. Pull the rest out if you can. You dare to pull it? Yeah, it's the, this one steel. With the line? Yeah, here you go. I haven't seen him yet. I haven't either. Oh, yeah, he's giant. Oh, or he's, he is a giant. Or he's big. You got the head going. He's another double digit, I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you got a new PB. <laughs> Wow. What do you think of that, buddy? He's, he is thick. Yep. Oh my god, he's well, thick. He's thick across the back. Yep. Awesome. All right, I'll get my catch bag. Beautiful. Beautiful, Donnie. Yes, nice fish. Boy, they if you twist them a little, we can see them, the side of them. We'll see you later, big gator. Nice. Donnie, all right. Another personal best. All right. That's nice. over 30 pounds today. Wow. 31 pounds. That's awesome. Maybe 32, actually. It's, it's certainly a different type of fishing than I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> Two 10 pounders in one day is pretty special. Right, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it sure. Uh, beats togue fishing, you know. Oh yeah. But I, you know, I like togue fishing too, but yeah. this is certainly different. Yeah. Yeah, the reel wasn't moving. They're just fat and lazy, aren't they? Oh yeah, same thing. Got him. Good one? Yeah. You might have to let him run. 
Oh, 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 look at that spool going, guys. <laughs> he got into your spool. Have you got to let him run? Which way do you want to throw the line? I don't know. I, I'd rather throw it your way. Okay, that's good. Oh, this one's fluorocarbon, so you've got to be a little more careful than last time. You got 40 pound fluorocarbon. Wow, Guys, look, look at that. Line. He is zinging the spool off. Just keep fighting him. You'll get at least three to four good runs. Did you get a look at him? Yeah. Eight, eight he pounds? Got, he's medium, uh, he looked medium sized, but I didn't really get a, I mean, he's running better than the last one. I knew these jokers were gonna feed. We worked hard yesterday. Still coming? Oh Ooh. yeah, it's another big fat one. He's probably seven, eight pounds, eight pounds. <laughs> How much fun is this fighting these giants? Oh yeah. Come on, start oh. your head. Oh, he might be ten. He might be ten. Yeah, he looked pretty big. I got a time. good look at him that time. The hook's like just barely in him. Oh really? Yeah, but you're fine, dude. Keep fighting him the way you're fighting him. You get his oh, head. Oh yeah, he's a good size one. Yeah, you get his head started. I can help you if you just back him up. There you go. Okay, you got his head started. He's just barely hooked. Yep. Yeah, he's not as big. <laughs> he's, that's an awesome fish. Hooks out. Oh yeah, what a beauty, huh? Look at that, guys. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Yeah, we'll weigh him. He's uh, jeez. He's not gotta as big be. as the other one. No, he's got to be in the six, seven range. Wow, but this is the key right here. This is why we weren't catching them, is they're just so full and so fat. This is a Rapala scale. I'm really liking it because it fits in my pocket. Yeah. And it seems to be pretty accurate. We haven't had any major discrepancies yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, eight, seven, almost eight, eight pounds. 7.89. Yeah. Eight pounds. All right, buddy. There you go. Hold them up. We'll get another picture. That puts you over 40 pounds today. Got the sun pretty hard. Sun's over here. All right, Donnie. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Close to home, close to the camp, I mean. Beauty. All right. Yeah, he's 32, <laughs> maybe 32 and a half. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that crazy? That same same yeah. length. Might be the same class of fish, just yeah. some are fatter. The other one was two pounds, well, over two pounds fatter. All right, guy. See Good you luck. Late. Grow bigger. See you later, we'll big see ya. Very nice. Yikes. Another one, Donnie. <laughs> That's really great. You're recycling smiles. Wow. Somebody's going to catch him when he's 20 pounds. Donnie got his first set of jack traps just just before this trip actually yeah. and i want to show you guys something super cool on him you've seen this on his paddle if you watched our camping episodes this is what his mentor put on his paddle and the cool thing is we got it transferred over onto his traps so just db like db johnston my old mentor used to call me B db all the time hey db come over here do this, go get the firewood, DB. <laughs> and he's the one who made you that paddle, right? He's the one who made the paddle. And he put DB on it. Yeah, yeah, I still, I lost one, but I still have the other one. Yeah. So, these are great traps. Top my good, My good buddy, Joey, gave them to me. They're wonderful. You should have them for the rest of your life, oh I Oh my hope. God. <laughs> and whoever gets them after me. <laughs> well, the, the cool thing about jack traps, guys, is if you even moderately take care of them, okay, they, yeah. then they will last, what do you a think? Lifetime. Three lifetimes, maybe? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if you store them in a bag where they don't get all banged up and stuff, yeah. you know, you, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, they're a work of art, is what yeah. they are. Yeah, so... They should last over over three lifetimes if you take care of them. My first, mine's already been through two lifetimes because I got them when I was 
just a youngster and didn't know how to take care of stuff. So they got beat pretty hard, but they still work perfect. And they got a, they got at least one or two more lifetimes left after I'm done with them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're great. And if you guys stay tuned to this series, I think we're going to have one more day. We might have one more episode. We might have two more for you. But we might have a special guest from Jack Traps fishing with us tomorrow. Oh. But anyway, guys, we're not done yet, but I just do want to take a second to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to take a second yeah. to, to thank you guys for the comments, for hitting that thumbs up. Donnie and I read every single comment. And if I don't reply to them from myself, Donnie tells me what to say for the ones you guys say, tell Donnie this or tell Donnie that. I always tell him and he always gives me something to say. So yeah. we really appreciate it. Oh, this has been a great trip and I uh, appreciate it, Joey. Yeah, oh we God, had a yeah. great time. So far, so good. We got one more day to go, so we'll see how that uh, pans out. No spool moving. I'll give you a hand in one second. Not moving. About the same as the last one, though. Huh. Took quite a bit. Got him? Yeah. Decent? No, feels smaller. Is he hung up? No, oh, he came came towards me. He looks pretty big. What do you think, Donnie? Isn't that odd that they just... Oh, he still got him? Oh, he's smaller. Yeah, he's smaller. I think they're just lazy right now. There you go, and you can just flop them right on the ice. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's the smallest one yet. Yeah. Let me get that hook out. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Yeah, right out? nothing. Wow, good job, fight. Good job, uh, catching him. Yeah, that's, a, that's the smallest one yet. I bet you he's still over four pounds. He doesn't look it, but. No, he doesn't. They are so fat. Oh. No, maybe not. Huh? Yeah. Five seventy. Yeah, he's it's a decent fish. Really? Yeah. I think it's just because you caught so many good ones recently. Oh wow. Yeah, he's five. I mean look how thick he is. And wide. Let's say he had something in his belly. I would agree. Awesome. Ah, surprised. He weighs so much. Feels it though, doesn't he? Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to recycle this smile. There he goes. See you later. alligator head. See you later, little gator. <laughs> All right. Good job. All right, if you made it this long in the show, you've made it to the dinner portion of the show. Tonight's dinner is going to be, we're going to have a maple smoked ham. We're going to have some maple baked beans. We're going to have some brown bread. I'll let Donnie tell you about brown bread in a minute. And one of us is going to have some okra. And I think that's about it. Is that it? Anything else? Oh my God, I can't... Am I forgetting uh, anything? Oh, I think that's it. We got a cup of tea to warm us up when we came in. Got the wood stove now the wood cranking. Stove cranking. Hotter than blue blazes in here. Let me shut that light off so they can see you. And, uh... I think they could still see you. So the brown bread was made in Portland, Maine by B&M Baked Beans. And there's, there's the can Joey's showing you. And what we do, we cut out both ends of the can, push it out, cut off slices, probably what? Half, three quarters of an inch. Look at that can opener. What the hell's the matter with that? It's missing the other part. Oh my word. <laughs> 
We'll be using the Swiss Army knife tonight. No, I got I got one in the box there. I'll uh, just use the Swiss. So I got it, Donnie. No. Don't even worry about right it. Right there. I got it. Don't even worry. Oh you do? Yeah, I'll use the Swiss. So anyway, we slice off the brown bread, maybe half inch, three quarter inch slabs, butter it, put it on, put it in a fry pan, put it on the stove, warm it up, melt the butter right into the brown bread. You can't beat it. There she is. She's cutting well, off. We had a great day of fishing. Yeah, six big pike. Six pike, which is a new, new venture for me. Never been pike fish. Fishing in 80 years. And then you pry it up with your knife. There you have it, guys. I don't know if that was too dark or not, but that's how you use your Swiss Army knife to open a can. And if you didn't know it, that's this that's the can opener on your Swiss Army knife. It's not just a small screwdriver. And you take that little hook and you hook it in underneath the lip and then you pry down and that cuts through the tin. So we're going to free it up with a butter knife around the edges. Kind of helps it slide out easier if it's freed up on the edges. We're going to try to push her through one way or another. Hopefully all in one loaf. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they don't. This one's coming out real easy. Oh, wow. There she be. Yeah, nice. There she be. I bet you they don't take long to cook on that wood stove now. No, they won't, they won't take long at all. Have you seen the brown bread lately that has... They used to make a raisin, one with raisins, one without. Oh, I haven't seen the raisin one in years. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time either. Must not have sold. I actually forgot all about it till you just mentioned it. Yeah. Wow. There it is, Donnie. All right, super. Thank Got it? you. That's great. Look at that. Nice. Nice meal. That ought to fill the void. Oh, that'll fill it. Yeah. Well, you had a great find with that moose antlers this year. Holy cow, I'd say. I'd find a match pair. That's quite, I think, quite unusual. It is, yeah. <laughs> Out of all the moose antlers i found, I've only had one other match set. Mm. Like, for sure, match set. Right. And I, I think I found the second one six hours after I found the first one. Oh, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was running a fisher line. Fisher trap line, and I spied the first one. It had snowed over it, but I I could see the bow of the antler. Yeah, and it had like a hollow, and I was like, something ain't right there. You know, a hollow in the, in amongst the snow. Right. And I went over. It was a big, big one. It's like wow. twenty two pounder, like a fifty eight, sixty inch. Wow. So, yep. And there were tracks all around, so I nothing had chewed on it. No. Nope. So I. I circled and circled and circled and looked and looked and looked and put the snowshoes on and yeah. there was a lot of snow and never found it. So I continued on my fisher line. I whacked a big male in a 220 Montgomery and then set another trap and yeah. then hit the end of my line and turned around and I was coming back and I got in the area again. I was like, let me look again. And there were moose tracks leaving, you know, pretty steady yeah. leaving the area. Yeah. And I'd followed those for a long way, but I noticed there was a coyote track on top of the snow that shot to the side where there were no moose tracks. And I could see where it had pissed on something and I and chewed a little actually. Yeah. And I got over and it was a point sticking out. Oh no kidding. And it was only like a hundred yards from where I found the first one. Oh wow. And it was a match. Wow. Yep. And wow, that's something. If, if that coyote hadn't gone over and he bit into it like four or five times, yeah. you could see like the nice sharp tooth mark on one of the points. Yeah. And he pissed on it to mark his territory. Huh. 
But if he hadn't done that, I would have never found it. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And that, I still have that set. That's the one I have upstairs. Yeah. You know, been on many, many trips. Sleeping in the tent for a week. And I got to say... This is probably the most comfortable tent <laughs> I've ever slept in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some tent camps we had, we had a little wood stove. Some we didn't have any wood stove. Did you ever have a wood floor? Never. No, we always either put a top down or something, mm. you know, so you're not on the ground. Yeah. But no, never. I mean, this wood floor is... The cat's meow. I imagine beans were probably a staple on the log drives. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, beans every day. Every day. Yeah. yeah. I can remember John C. is an old guy that lived over near Bobby's parents in North Walderboro. Bobby's father was friends of him, and he was an old bachelor. And uh, he would make a pot of beans Saturday, and it would last him until the following Saturday he'd make another pot of beans. Wicked. He'd eat them every day for a week. Huh. Yeah. Breakfast, you know, anytime. Breakfast, yeah, they're good lunch. for breakfast. Yeah. Beans and eggs. Yeah. Ham, beans, and eggs. Yeah, he always had a horse. Just a single horse, huh. had a wagon. Once in a while, well, when my kids were little, he'd hook up the wagon, take them for a wagon really? ride. Really? Yeah. That's cool. What did he do, do you remember? Honestly, don't know I, what what he did. I, you know, I think he kind of was like a handyman type yeah. person. Yeah, he talked about the Thorndike Hotel in Rockland quite a bit. What was that? And that, that was kind of a wild and crazy place. Really? Yeah. I never even heard of it. Oh my God. It was right downtown Rockland. And it was, it was, uh, I think there might have been a little prostitution going really? on there. Yeah. I mean, there were fights there all the time in the bar and, and, uh. The Thorndike? At the Thorndike Hotel. Yeah. Is it still around? It's no, the building is there, but you know, there's different businesses in the building now, I guess. But yeah, there's a lot of stories that you I don't know if you know Dick Curlis, the oh, yeah. country western yeah. singer. He used to perform, Woods. He used to sing there. He did the Haynesville Woods. Right, yeah. And that's yeah. where he became famous. Really? No yeah. way. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Did yeah, you get, he frequented it. Did you get to see him when you were always at the Thorndike? You know, I think I did. I don't, honestly. That's all right. All right, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. Really awesome day on the hard water. My goal this trip was to get Donnie onto a double digit pike. And not only did he get one, he got two. So he got two 10 pounders today. Uh, he caught six, six yeah, fish. Six today, yeah. Yeah, six that we can remember. And three yesterday. Three yesterday. So pretty awesome. I mean, six, six good pike in a day when you're trying for trophies is excellent. Yeah. You know, they do grow them bigger, but hey, he caught hey, 10 pounders. A 10 pound fish is nothing to sneeze at. Oh no, not at all. And they gave him a heck of a tug and I want to say that eight pounder gave him the best fight of all. Yeah, he did. For one of those tens, yeah. so. Yeah, he, he ran two or three or four times. But so much happened that I forgot that today we started with Donnie's Donuts. So, and then he baked a cake and had an awesome dinner, had an incredible lunch with that meatloaf sandwich. So all in all, just tons of stuff in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope, uh, I hope you guys are liking this content because that's what we're putting out. And... Yeah, about to go to bed. I got this wood stove ripping, so be warm for a little while in here, and then it'll probably be chilly. And we're picking up a special guest tomorrow, and we're going to probably do some Donnie's Donuts again in the morning tomorrow, huh? Yeah.